Hello, folks, and salutations. For I have been drinking rum and coke for the past, well, three days? That's impressive, except for Sunday. Or wait, or did I? I forget. Oh, well. With that being said, I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. And you know, I'm the Hobo Tom because I'm in the Hobo Studios. For some reason, nothing wants to work. Nothing wants to work right today. Figure this out. One more time. Oh, wow, I just flat out broke, that's why. I'll figure this out. I'll get this working somehow, folks. There we go. I just can't move too much. Good luck to me. Until I can get to... Where if I put... I took around the edge. There we go. Right in the... Fine. I hope. That shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Get things going here, because this is taking way too long. This is going to be another somewhat long show, because I still have a lot of things to get, to get through. Um, I previously thanked everyone that commented. Maybe this is better this way. Maybe it's just my volume. Let's see here, what happens if I do this? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That does make a little... <laughs> That's why I close my mic. This my computer's my volume low. Ooh, I'm still trying to figure stuff out. Play cheese pot. Wow, that's even louder than I thought it would be. Ding, ding, ding. And you see, I'm all dressed up for my hurricane party. Where's the hurricane, though? Wow, this is very unimpressive. Well, I'm here to talk about some wrestling, but before I get to wrestling, I have a whole bunch of stuff to go through. I still have my whole list of, of subscribers to thank. And let's restart this here. I did add one more new video, so hopefully this won't be too bad. Let's see here. Sonny Bimbo, thank you for both subscribing and your comments. You, sir, because of that. You just got the six count against you.
Jack, be lucky. Oh, wow. I like it when I see easy names like that. You, sir, are definitely an air guitar specialist. Misfit 2H5, sir, you're obviously having another party in your place. Let's see if that briefcase boombox going. Charles Jarosak, crawl home to your loved one, sir. Why could wed ways? Oh, wicked ways. I see what she did. Sir, you always managed to win by a dirty pin in your wicked ways. Felix Reyes, you're part of the El Generico band. Jared Padaway, holy shit, what did you just do? Donald Russell, Jordan has some back for you. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Demex1980, third, did you just see that luchador on the forklift over there?
John Warham, you, sir, have experienced some mundo madness. The elite? You're supposed to be the elite. Why is Nikki Cross complaining about you being her tag team partner? For a man I O M F G That's a hard name to say. King Blake You know your Kung Fu fighting, sir. Charles Kane, how dare you tell Nikki Cross to take it all off? Bobby Miller, run, don't walk. And finally, then with the newest one. Oh, wow, I'm going to get this done on Friday. Wait, there we go. Brian Smith, you just got tossed.
Wow. I think I'm going to get all these done. I'd like to thank everyone for subscribing, and I'll get to those that have sent me recent comments. I hate to say it, I'll probably get, get your shoutouts back to you next week if I do give you a repeat video. It's just been one of those weeks. You can say hurricane showing up on board. I'm not going to beat myself up over stuff. But there we go. So now, let's get to the whole purpose of this show. I think I have 10 minutes. Oh, only 8 minutes. Not too bad. Let's talk about some Monday Night Raw, some Tuesday Smackdown. See, I, I need more. I need more. Oh, so good tasting. Let's see here. So we had a Bailey recap and has a promo. She still keeps her face entrance. Charlotte Flair showed up. Charlotte Flair wore some mommy jeans. And boy, are her boobies big. Andrade has some fun with her, I guess. Then Sasha Banks came out. So Charlotte and Banks decided to go at it. Bailey's like, not happening. I'm going to go after you. Bailey used the chair again. Bailey still looks really weird in swinging that chair, though. And, oh, yes, yeah, Sasha Banks, she nailed Charlotte right across the boobies. That had to hurt. I don't care. Oh, and there's a news update. I just realized. I, oh, I forgot to say this. There's a news update. One of you dirty people, whoever lives out there in Tallahassee, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. Someone stole. Chris Jericho's AEW championship belt. Why? You give wrestling fans a bad name. Well, listen, I give wrestling fans a bad name just because I'm the one, the only hobo Tom. But when you steal something from Chris Jericho, you better hope he doesn't Judas affect you. That's just a elbow to the face. Is still, still not that good of a finisher. I can see it as a setup, but not definitely not the finisher. But that's really how things started off. So I do apologize for going on a little AEW rant there. But let's talk more about wrestling. Let's talk about some real wrestling because our first match in a, uh, is a Queen of the King of the Ring quarterfinals match. It was Ali versus Elias. Ali has great agility. Let's talk about this so I can hopefully get this video done. Or at least my talking part done in 20 minutes. So this will be probably 40, 50 minute long video once I end. So I go do my editing. Oh, he's so good though. He's so smooth. Um, even when he gets caught by Elias, like he did the one, he still manages to get out of that. Elias is just strong enough to catch him. And he did that. Elias on the outside. I don't know what it was, but it looked vicious. It was like a suplex, and then he just threw him. Whoa, that was pretty cool, though. Uh, what else happened in this match? It was just some fun stuff. And Elias, very much the brawl part. Fly, Ali, fly. But he has to realize sometimes the wrestler can't get out of the way because when he did his 450 splash, or the 054, I think he calls it, he, the whole story of the match is that, is that he, he, he has a bad knee. Elias went after that. Uh, every time he did something, he would land. He would tweak it a little bit more. And then he went, so he missed that. Elias went for the stretch muffler. Even Elias tried to fly, which is pretty cool. Eventually, Elias does pick up the victory. Surprising, knowing that he's still on the stage. I'm shocked. Maybe WWE is trying to get away from predictability. You never know, but I'll tell you what. The King of the this King of the Ring tournament has brought out some of the better matches by people who you didn't expect. So I'll tell you what, this was a good surf and turf quality match. In the same way. 
that the Baron Corbin match was good, and people are like, this is good. People are shocked because this is Baron Corbin. You're just programmed to boo him. Um, I think, I don't know what it is. I don't know if WWE is trying to get into bigger stadiums, but you can see the whole upper section was all tarped off. The whole lower bowl, bowl was full. And I don't know if it's because they move people down. I think when I was at everybody said every checks have been taped off tarped off too. So I don't know. Just low attendance at WWE events, especially televised events. It's gonna leave something to be desired when AEW comes to the same towns. Like I know AEW is coming to Baltimore. For one of their sh live shows or one of their live TV shows, and I wonder if that's going to be full or if they use the same arena. I really don't know. Then also some news out of AEW besides besides some thief stealing Chris Jericho's belt. Kylie Ray, and I think I might have mentioned Kylie Ray asked for her release. Kelly Ray seemed like an unhappy person. I know she does have her match. She has her bachelor's and master's. She can say, you know what? This isn't for me. And hey, that's fine. You know what, Kylie Ray? You've lived your dream. You've lived your dream. Some of us, you lived your dreams so that some of us couldn't. So, even if she does call it quits, she had a good run. I think she's only 27. Yeah, so that makes sense. She had her master's to college, graduated 22. Two years would be 24. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, how old was I when I started? Yeah, because I was. I was 22 when I started my master's in Grattan when I was 20, 26. Yeah, 25, 26. That makes sense. And then I kind of did stuff for a few years. And I got my doctorate done. So I know I was the youngest in my cohort. And at the time, I was 32. Yeah, I was the youngest in my cohort. I was 32. That's scary. Oh, but I get, I get distracted again, though. Then we have Alistair Black. The only because I put in my side notes. Alistair Black, I want to fight someone. And he's realized that he he's, can't wait for people anymore. He has to actually go out to the ring and say... Fight me. Or he has to hold the ring hostage like the Macho Man did. Because Macho Man held that ring. To... He didn't care. Disco Inferno wasn't going to have a match. He whacked Alex, Alex right over the head with a chair. Threatened people with baseball bats. Macho Man. Still the best. Then we had Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss taking on Fire Desire, which, which is... Which is Mandy Rose and Boo Sonya Deville. Mandy Rose did a hair whip on, on Nikki. You don't do that hair whip on Nikki. Shame on you. She just that, that ticked Nikki off. Fly, Nikki, fly. Nikki Cross took to the air. She, she did a, a cross body splash onto both Mandy Rose and Boo Sonya Deville. Uh, Nikki Cross just wanted to take out Boo Sonya Deville. Nikki Cross. My new heroine. I like that. And yes, it's heroin. Female version of hero. You sick, sick people out there in YouTube land. And then there was a commercial break, and I'm like, what happened? Because I couldn't get the picture in picture. I think once I saw the commercial, I started to make my sandwiches for dinner for the night. And all of a sudden, the roles reversed. Alexa Bliss was in the ring. And she gave Boo Sonya Deville the DDT. Which is good, though. She went to the top rope, 
got distracted a little bit by Nikki Cross and Mandy Rose, who are out there fighting a little bit. And then there was enough time for Boo Sonya Deville to get her knees up. Uh, hey, Alexa. I think you did in this. <coughs> I, I just know Mandy Rose and Boo Sonya Deville won. Whatever. Um, it was actually a good match, though. I, I mean, I try to set my personal feelings aside and try to call the matches right down the middle. So in this instance, it was a good cheeseburger of a match, though. I'll tell you what. I don't know if it's a trend. But man, those those bottoms are getting lower and lower. Eventually, they're gonna be you're gonna see stuff. I don't care if you wax and stuff. There's are still yeah slits you can see. Uh oh, someone texted me. I'll get that later since I have my microphone set up. I do not want to go bonkers. Something sounds like they're setting off fireworks. That's weird. Hey, it's a hurricane party. What can you say? Then you have a Randy Orton promo. Uh, the Revival are beating up Kofi. Kingston on his way to the ring. All the stomping. It's stupid. Then you have a Roman Reigns recap about all the stuff that he's actually been going through for the past couple of weeks. We'll see where that leads us. Um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. That's my title. And that leads us to our second King of the Ring quarterfinal match, where it was Andrade, Cien Almas, and Zelina Vega versus, versus Chad Gable. Because, again, whenever Zelina Vega's in the ring, he knows she's going to get involved somehow. Uh, and But I'll tell you what, Zelina Vega should not be making short jokes. Because if she's four foot nine, she's four foot nine with her hair in a pool. Because he is not tall whatsoever. Chad Gable's even. <laughs> you know, it's one thing when Chad Gable towers over you. So that means you're short. Now, I want to say Chad Gable's only like an inch or two shorter than Andrade, and you can see it a little bit, but not really that pronounced. Andrade was never that tall either. But I'll tell you what. Chad Gable is so smooth in the ring, so seamless. I mean, he does his, he has his knees up. He, he knows how to do things right. Andrade is just amazing. Um, again, Andrade went for his um, double jump moonsault. Chad got his knees up. He had that well scouted. Fly, Chad, fly. He did, he did that moonsault. Wow, he has air on that. That was really good. Again, Zelina Vanga provides the distraction. Uh, Andrade goes for the three amigos. Chad Gable hits his his German suplex, his um hold on three x German suplexes. Chad Gable won with roll up, but it was creative. It was out of the hammerlock DDT. I'll tell you what, it just looks so smooth. Nothing he did was clunky. Andrade's so smooth again. He has, like, intentional clunkiness, like, fight clunky, which is different than just botch clunky. I'll tell you what. The WWE has really caught fire in a bottle with some of the matches that they put together for the King of the Ring tournament. Because this is another surf and turf quality match. And then um, we had Alistair Black in the ring. He came out, and Shelton Benjamin got the Jabber entrance. It was a, it was, it was pretty good. It was short though. Um, they, they're giving WWE is now giving their highlight matches time, but they still have all their promo work and all their little segments for the wrestling match. So that's hurting. If you can call it hurting the time, 
that other wrestlers get to put on to to play their craft inside the ring. So it's 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 a mixed feeling. Like the highlighted showcase matches are getting their time, but then there's some, some segments kind of eat away into some of the wrestling. Because again, this I think this is absolutely what happened here. You have Alistair Black versus Sheldon Benjamin. You have a wrestler versus a striker, which is again I always do appreciate. The contrast in styles. Eventually, Sheldon gives up on his wrestling ways. He goes back to his New Japan strong style, but he's not going to outstrike Alistair Black because it took one black mask. It was over. My big complaint, it wasn't bad. It was just way too short. It's a ham sandwich because this could have been better. So, again, a ham sandwich, that's, that's about right. Then you have a 24-7 title thing. The Bollywood, boy, Bollywood boys try to jump Jake Maverick. Um, Renee Michelle's <laughs> she, she completely no-sells this whole idea of how big an arena is. Because the, the setup is Jake Maverick saying, come on, hon, let's go find the exit. She's like, what exit? This is the boiler room. And then the Bollywood boys show up. He fends them off. You see... I'll say Callisto riding in on a crate. Drake Maverick just olays him, lets him go. Uh, Drake, uh, Curtis Axel comes in. Bo Dallas picks up the win. Eventually, later on, we'll, we'll see Drake Maverick capture the title again. And then only to be rolled up by R-Truth, who is now the true master of the roll-up. So R-Truth is now the 24-7 champion again. All this is fun. It gives gives people some airtime. It's a ham sandwich of of a match, I guess. Then we had Shinsuke Nakamura versus Mark Andrews. I have no idea. Some job I might get the name wrong. It doesn't matter though, because. All Sami Zayn had to say was, it doesn't matter who you are. I'm like, whoa, that's the Rock's line. Can't make infringement or pretty darn close to it. He should get a copyright violation too. Boo. WWE. If, if they can steal gimmicks, Hobo Tom should be able to steal gimmicks too. This match didn't last long. Um... I don't know who it was. I didn't care. It was Shinsuke Nakamura. Sami Zayn got to talk. He didn't say the line. It doesn't matter. It's a can of soup. And then the main event segment. I do like it when they leave the main event match better. Uh, Roman Reigns comes down to the ring. Actually, Daniel Bryan comes down and says, Says, I want my apology. I don't have anything to do with, Ro with Rowan. Uh, Roman Reigns comes down, gets jumped by Rowan on the way down. Rowan's like, You can't control me anymore, Daniel Bryan. You slapped me in the face. I dare you to slap me again. So, yeah, um, after he beat up Roman some more, Daniel Bryan did slap Rowan in the face, and Rowan Iron Claw slammed Daniel Bryan through a table. And that was SmackDown. Again, this, I'll, the one thing I'll take, I, you can take away from SmackDown is that it's a really fast show. I mean, those two hours, I think when I look down, I'm like, whoa, what's 940? They have 20 minutes for a main event segment. I wonder what's going to happen now. When you can say, wow, it's 20 minutes left out of two hours, you're like, and even that 20 minutes went quick, pretty quick. I okay, know, and this is probably an equivalent example. And for when I saw Solo, the Star Wars movie, I think it's a really fun movie, by the way. I think I looked at my walk. I'm like, wow, it's been like, it's, 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 been, it's been about two hours. And the thing was, by the time I looked at my watch, Five minutes right after I looked at my watch, the movie ended, so I'm like, 
That felt about right. Yeah, and if you say, wow, this, I don't know how much longer it's in this movie. You look at your watch, and you spend five more minutes watching the screen, you're like, oh, it's over now? Okay. It's not too bad. That's the way how, that's the way how SmackDown feels. You're like, oh, it's, 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 it's 20 minutes. Like, oh, it's over? Wow, that was quick. Whereas Raw seems like a slog, although Raw is doing better and better. We'll see what happens because I know there's going to be a change of my schedule. It's probably going to be Monday, Raw, Tuesday, SmackDown. Wednesday, NXT is coming to the USA Network. So I have to think about if I'm going to watch that or not. Do a review because that's two hours. Impact still on Fridays. Thursday is my kind of weird show. Saturday is reserved for live events. Oh, whoa. Wait a second. Is that next week? No, the following week. The following week, every day. Yeah, with the exception of Thursday. Yeah. So it'll be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm off Thursday, Friday's impact. Sat Saturday, I'm off. Oh, wait, no, Thursday. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Sunday, the 15th, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I have off that weekend, I think. Yeah, I do. Wow. Again, everyone have a good night. Um, if you're around Daytona Beach area, enjoy your hurricane parties. It's not coming until I'm, I'm probably passed out in my bed. My cat's already falling asleep in bed. She's mad at me because I closed the house up. But I'll keep in theory I'm safe, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, whatever's going to happen, gonna, it won't be the windows or the walls. It'll, it'll be the roof. So everyone have a good rest of the night. And I'll see everyone ooh, Friday. Bye. Oh, that was good.